Animal yeah, expert, nice to see nice you. Let's give you a big hug. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hi, Monday. Nice to see you. You were busy over the weekend. I was. Yeah, I was in town over at the uh, Buffalo Home and Garden Show. And for the past five years, I've been involved with 97 Rock and a really fun. Uh, and really, it, it has just grown into a really kind of a staple at the home show. It, it, we started out with our, our stupid uh, pet tricks where we had people come in. <laughs> and and really, yeah. it's almost like the people are stupider than the pets. The, 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 uh, the tricks are stupid, not the pets. So right. Or the people. Or the, the people for that matter. <laughs> but we started that out, uh, and it just evolved into a pet fashion show. It involved into dogs versus cats and this year we had our I believe it was our fifth year for the um, the pet fashion show and our winner as with every year as gets a, a trip to the Westminster dog show next That's year nice. all expenses paid the dog goes and then they can kind of rub elbows with other champions so. do, do you only get one ticket then and the dog has to ride cargo <laughs> hey, or can they first, sit in the passenger they can sit in first class the dog, dog right. can sit can see right next to now who is bijou right that's bijou and bijou uh oh that's that was another one there that that guy um rat terrier no that, it looks like a rat right ter it, that's a pug believe it or not really? and the year before and that and that pug was defending its championship from a couple of years ago because First, uh, Chris, who's the, the owner, brought the dog, and they actually had Velcroed spider legs on this black oh my gosh. And he looked like a little 10-pound <laughs> spider running around. <laughs> and then she came back with the um, with the dragonfly, but you know, she couldn't take down Bijou. Bijou was the... What was Bijou wearing exactly? Bijou, I believe, was wearing... Um, she was wearing Louis Vuitton. Per no, I'm just having to watch it. It wasn't a red carpet. It was like... She was, she was wearing, I believe, a tutu and a... Um, some kind of uh, she was dialed up. I mean, enough for her to win it. Enough for her. We had a dog that was wearing sneakers, believe it or not, and he loved it. Oh my gosh! Don't get the, the Skechers commercial. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. No, yeah. But those dogs, especially at the Westminster, mm -hmm. they are taken care of better than anybody has ever taken oh, care absolutely. of. Oh, absolutely. Their diets, their coats, their, and you know, I've, I've been, I, I've been to the Westminster show in the past, and it, it it's it's crazy. I mean, they have. You know, and it's just like Hollywood. You know, you have entourages. The dogs have makeup artists. They have. That's not right. You know, they have. Uh, you know, they have little tanning booths and for. I'm just. They don't have tanning booths. But, but they do Triple have. Fiji. Yeah, exactly. So they have their Fiji water, exactly. But but you know, it was nothing like our contest, though, because we had we had real dogs. A lot of the dogs were rescued. You know, these are people's pets. Aww. And you know, what? they they get a chance to shine. And you know, what? we started this out. We, we might have had 20 people in the audience. We had probably about 300 people that showed up to see this at the Buffalo Home and Garden. Show and we had we had uh, almost 20 contestants this year. So the Home and Garden Show continues this weekend. Are you doing anything with them? No, then? unfortunately, this is it, just this, the first weekend. We only do the first weekend every year. We're going to do it again next year, hopefully. Remember that then. But you're going to be back on the show with us because you got another announcement and you got a friend with you. Absolutely, I got little Gracie with me, and I have a, a furry friend too. Um, uh, my good friends over at Fisher Price. I got involved in a really great promotion and a great toy, and we have a contest winner here today that it does the best animal impression you'll ever meet. You'll ever hear. So. I'm so excited. For that here. Everybody was raving outside and getting pictures with your other guests. We're yeah. going to leave that as a tease, yeah. though. All right. Thanks so much for Thank joining us Thank right now. Jared. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Sounds great, guys. We're going to check in back with him, as I said, about um, also the contest. Right. But you know what? we got to talk at this point about March Madness. Everybody's talking about it. Congratulations to the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. Get ready to see a lot of brown and gold around town for the next few days because the Bonnies, they're headed back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 12 years. They earned that spot. It was a hard-earned spot. 14 seed, they're now going to play third seed, Florida State, Friday afternoon. They say it at about 2.30. Um, so the team, you know what, really got it together. That's and so exciting. Xavier, is, are they playing Xavier? No, they beat they them beat Xavier. to get into the tournament. And I think they're playing Florida State. Yes on Friday. So I'm getting thumbs up. Thanks guys. Yep, I was listening this morning on Good Wake read. Up. And you know, not only is it so exciting that St. Bonaventure is going to be in March Madness, but people go crazy with filling out the brackets. I think it's something like $200 million is lost in productivity from people filling out brackets at work. <laughs> I'm not one of those. No. Me neither. I don't even know what a bracket is other than no, it's connected to a work. door. <laughs> We won't name names, though, of other people <laughs> who do. But best of luck to them. Absolutely. We'll Congratulations to the Bonnies. Um, we're also congratulating for a very good reason, a local youth hockey group. Mm -hmm. uh, they banded together for a wonderful cause and to help other kids as well. This is one of the 16 members of the Buffalo Regals. They all got matching haircuts, shaves, I should say, yesterday um, to raise money for Camp Good Days. They originally wanted to raise $5,000, but you know what? 
they just got so many people behind them and they had so much enthusiasm. So far, that number is up to $12,000. And you know, they were such good sports and so well spoken. This morning on Wake Up, um, we had some of the comments from these kids. And they said, you know what? We kind of feel for them. We know what it's like. We wanted to show them that we have the support for them as well. Right. So really well spoken, good good guys out there. I think what they did was a great cause. We've had a lot of these really touching stories yesterday about yeah. people joining together you know, in solidarity to help support people fighting cancer. So. And you know what surprised me? These, it shouldn't really surprise me, but kids so young, 9, 10, 11 years old, so well spoken. Right. You know? And, and they have the biggest heart. hearts, I think. Right. Western New York. That's because they grew up in Western New York. Right.